Hi folks, let me introduce you my latest invention, the egg painting machine. You might call it a CNC machine, but however it is a machine, it still requires creativity from the one who uses it. I have seen some egg painting machines out there, but I found them too complicated to be a DIY project. These are some kind of CNC lathes. In my design, the pen is in your hands, so the pen movement doesn't controlled by the machine. The machine only performs the rotation task. If you use a slow RPM DC motor, you already have a tool that helps you holding and rotating the egg. But in my implementation, I have used a cheap stepper motor so I can control the exact position of the rotation. The body is built from scrap wood, it only needs to be capable to hold the egg. One of the posts will hold the motor. I drill the center point of the shaft, then mark and drill the mounting points of the motor. After this, the center point was drilled out with a bigger drill bit. On the other post, only a nail will be driven through. We need a rod from which two small blocks were cut. These blocks will hold the egg. One will fit on the end of the motor shaft. The other will be used with the nail. For holding the egg, we will need three legs made out of wire. So I drill three diagonal holes in them. I like to keep these broken windmills as they contain nice springy wires. The wires are covered with thin tubes. I also have melted the end of the tubes as they were a bit loose. So the nail comes through the post, then comes a spring from a ballpen and the holding part. The spring will keep the egg tight. On the other post the motor was mounted with the other holding part. After fixing the post with the motor on the base, we need to find the right place for the other post. As a final touch, I have added a two rest from a thick aluminium wire. As I've mentioned, I've used a cheap stepper motor that comes with its own driver board. This is a 64 steps per revolution motor. The driver connects with four wires to the Arduino. The display is a Nokia 5110 display, a rotary switch and the push button is also used. This developer board is already prepared for me. See the referenced video for details. From a software perspective, I can tell you that this is a timing-based application, so I have used my own soft timer library as a framework for this project. The following functions are implemented. The motor can be turned on and off with the push button. You can navigate in the menu and change options with the rotary switch. In the manual mode, you can freely rotate the egg with the rotary switch. You can select patterns. Multiply patterns can be loaded to the code. Currently there are three patterns implemented. This can be extended later on with more patterns. You can select the amplitude. The patterns usually do back and forth type moving. Amplitude is commonly used as the length of the move. You can select forward. When the pattern does some oscillating movement, the forward means that on one direction it should move further than on the opposite. This way the XT rotates overall. That's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Let's keep food. I need to keep food.